Good morning. Hello. Happy Friday. Alex Greenwood here, tuning in with you on Facebook Live as we roll out the last of the refresh, the last of the reboot, the revise, the, the remax. Uh, I don't know. I'm out of rees. Um, of the book covers for the John Pilot Mystery Series. And I'm so excited and thrilled at um, the response we're getting. Um, sales are up, which is nice. Um, not, it's not going to buy me a vacation home. Sales are up, but still, sales are up. Um, we're, we're doing a new push, as you can tell. We're I am doing a new push for the series because I believe in the series. And it's ten years down the road. We've got six books that I'm very proud of. And and if you're watching this, you're probably one of those folks who agrees with that. And you love these characters, and you want to keep it coming. And and I do too. Um, I've tried to quit John Pilot. I just can't seem to quit him. But um, and I, that's another story from another day. But I mean, I've tried to quit and move on. And and I am writing other things. But I. A good friend of mine told me, buddy, you don't have to get rid of John Pilot to write other things. And he's right. So that's what I'm doing. And um, so this morning, really quickly, I'm going to sneeze any moment. <coughs> oh, bless me. That was, woo. Oh, um, I'm going to reveal the book cover for Pilot's Blood. I'm going to, if you're listening on the podcast, you know, we're kind of simulcasting these. Um, I'm going to sneeze again. <coughs> Goodness gracious. So sorry. Um. I'm going to simulcast this. Uh, I'm on the Mysterious Goings On podcast. And uh, if you're listening on the podcast, please don't forget to endorse this episode on What Pods. And I'll try to remember to put a link in the show notes. But Or you can just Google What Pods and then look for Mysterious Goings On. All you got to do is endorse the show. You sign up once, you endorse the show. You just click like, that's a good show. That's a good episode. That's really important for me as a part of this marketing push to find new readers, new listeners, hopefully turn into new readers. Okay. Um, I want to walk you through... Really quickly, um, what we've done previously with uh, with the book covers. And again, if you're listening on the podcast, I'll include the new cover in your show notes. But if you want to see everything, go to the John Pilot Mysteries Facebook page and this video, um, the complete show with, with yours truly and his bedhead will be uh, on there. And you'll see all these covers and all these uh, on screens and things that I'm sharing. OK. All right. Here we go. I'm going to keep this keep this moving right along. Um don't forget, I, was, I did mention the Mysterious Goings On podcast. It's coming out weekly now, pretty much, and uh, it's picking up some steam. And uh, as I mentioned previously, I'm feeling better and doing a better job of getting content out there and making it very much part of my daily job and weekly job is to get new content out there. So please tune in there if you would. Um, what Pods, as I said, please endorse us on What Pods. Uh, just go to whatpods.com and look up uh, Mysterious Goings On, and you'll see there's a little place where you can endorse each episode if you like them and say it's good content, whatever you think there. Give a little mini review, and it doesn't take any time at all. Just sign up once, and then just show up and click. Um, okay, so Jason McIntyre, my gosh, my dear friend, brilliant writer. He, it's just not fair, frankly, that one guy is like, an incredible writer and a very damn good book cover artist, but there you go. I mean, he he apparently showed up to, you know, the uh, talents booth a couple of times um, when they were handing out these talents because he's just done a phenomenal job. Uh, I'll draw your attention to my grandfather, Robert E. Trevathan's last book that I worked with him on posthumously. Um, but Jason did the cover for Big Cabin and Dispatches from the West, and it's available exclusively in book, paperback and ebook on Amazon. So Jason did that wonderful cover. Um, he he started off with the new cover for Pilot's Cross, which is is also just wonderful. It's a excellent cover. It really captures the flavor of the um, book trailer we did ten years ago that was professionally produced book trailer. And uh, if you haven't seen that, um, you can find the links everywhere and all my stuff on. Uh, but, uh, if you can't find it, let me know. And every now and then I, I put it back up on the, uh, Facebook page to, for watch, to watch, but I think you can find it there. It's really worth watching. So he did a wonderful job on that one. And that also includes doing the ebook or excuse me, the audiobook version, which is basically just making it a square for audiobooks, because I think the audiobook format is to back to the days when most audiobooks were on cassette or CD and that's for the packaging. But anyway, he re redid that for me on that one. 
Um, so you may recall then that, uh, yeah, he went after Pilot's Key, which is just about the most uh, popular selling of the series, book two in the series. Um, I I always like that cover, and I've covered this in previous episodes, so I'm not going to go into rationale here. I just want to quickly go through and show these to you. And so he went from this one um, to this one. And, you know, I'll be straight up. I've got some people who don't like the overt sexual undertones of this one. Um I don't make any apologies. I, I'm not going to apologize for uh, trying very hard to get attention and to be commercial. I think it's still tasteful. I think I think it's eye-catching, obviously. Um, I've had some people just, you know, I can just tell they're not thrilled with it. But, you know, it's it works for the book. It works for what the book's about. This is the beach. This is sun. This is murder. This is sex. There is more, there's more sex in this book than in all the rest of the books put together. Um Proud of this cover. I think it's a bit daring in some ways, but if sales are an indication, which are starting to pick up again, it was a good decision. So I think Jason did a marvelous job on that. Pilot's Ghost, our third book, which this had with this wonderful initial cover, uh, which is really, um, it's dense with really great concepts and interesting stuff, but it's just flipping hard to figure out what it says, uh, especially when it's about the size of a postage stamp on an Amazon screen. So J-Mac came back with this because this is the pilot's ghost. You know, there is a ghost in the way chasing pilot. And I just thought this really, Jason did a marvelous job encapsulating that. Jason also did a refresh on pilot seven. This is our book of short stories. Um, this is pretty much the same concept he did initially a few years ago, but he updated it where you can, it's just a little more readable and a little more in line with uh, the, the series refresh that we're doing here. So very nice with that. And that brings us, uh, well, I guess I'll, I'll go out of order here real quick. Uh, he also, of course, did, let me see, uh, Pilot's Rose, which was one of the first covers he did. And this was something he did that we're not going to refresh because he already did it. And that's kind of the template for the way the series is, is going to look. So um, there's, there's the Rose cover there. Um, but uh, that brings us to... Um, Pilot's Blood, which was done by a, another um, artist, and I've said previously, I thought that uh, they did a nice job on it. This is one of my favorite of the series. It's it's kind of an old West homage. It's an homage to my grandfather, who I've mentioned earlier in the uh, in this bright this this uh, broadcast. Um, it's an homage to that. It's an homage to um, the westerns of Howard Hawks and uh, John Wayne, and um, I'm just really proud of that book. And I, I thought I thought this cover. Pretty much got it, but I wanted something. I wanted to show a little more than just small town with storm clouds over it. I wanted I wanted to show some some literal menace, you know. Uh, and I, I, Jason and I, this was the hardest one for uh, Jason and I because we we kind of went round and round on this cover. I'm not gonna, and we didn't like argue, but I had some ideas that were very much throwbacks to like the uh, the old west posters for the for those movies those john wayne type movies that i thought were so good and he he acknowledged that but he kind of talked me out of it saying that's great but that's not going to fit in the aesthetic that we're doing for the whole series it's just not going to work right and you know he tried and he came up with a couple of good concepts but uh we finally settled on one that was a happy medium for us both it, it had that menace but it also had that tremendous visual interest and in, and in maintain the aesthetic so uh, without further ado, I'd like to present to you J. Max, Jason McIntyre's concept for Pilot's Blood. And there you have it. Um, remember when I was talking, you've got the small town kind of backdrop. Um, you've got the storm clouds. You've got the menacing dude with a gun. Um, because, you know, Pilot's Blood, there, there's a showdown at the, at the jail, you know. And this, to me, it just points towards this is some serious danger that Pilot and his friends are in. And I think it, it's very eye-catching, and I'm very, 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 very pleased with it. So um, there you have it. There's Pilot's Blood. And that puts the refresh activities to an end. And uh, the series is what it is now. And I'm going to refer you to... Eh, let me put this over here. I'm going to refer you to my screen where Amazon.com is. Amazon.com now has the entire series listed as a series. Um, so let me go here. Okay. 
So the whole series is now listed on Amazon.com as a series. I waited to finalize this for a lot of reasons, including the new, the cover refresh. But if you go here, if you ever want to know, and I'll put this link up today, um, you've got the books in order and you can find them on Amazon. Or if and, and you may think you've read the whole series and you haven't, maybe you're missing Pilot's Ghost or maybe you're going, oh, I didn't read Pilot's Key or maybe these new covers are confusing you. And I hope they have. If I'm just kidding. I don't hope they have, because even if you had bought it previously and you go back to buy it again, it'll tell you, oh, you've already bought this. But uh, I, uh, I'm so excited about about these books and about um, putting them all together where you can find them under one under one roof. And of course you can still, you know, go to my author page and find other stuff too. But I wanted to share that with you, um, show you what's up with that. So let me go back here. Let's go back to me. Ah, hi. Okay, so uh, um, don't forget to go to pilotscross.com and fill in the box here. It'll be a pop-up and you can uh, fill in your email address and your name and your birthday for a special present for your birthday coming up. Um, we are starting a two emails a month mailing list. Um, all part of getting the word out. Just reminding you what's going on. I, I will not abuse the privilege. I swear this is not me going to be spamming you every other day and I'm not going to sell this list to anybody else and I'm not going to I mean, if somebody wants to buy space in our, our email list, the, buy an ad at the bottom of the emails I'm sending you, that's one thing. But I'm not about to sell, sell the list to, you know, marketing companies and all that. And then all of a sudden you're spammed. I'm not going to do that. So don't don't fear about that. It's just a way I can keep in touch with you. And I will keep it to about two a month um, unless it's a release, like a release month or like 30 days before release. I might do one a week to remind you about the release of the pre-order and stuff like that. And you can always unsubscribe if I get to be uh, too tedious. I tell my wife that all the time. Anyway, please make sure you sign up for that. And of course, if you want to, until I get that rolling, and it may be another month or two before I get that actually rolling, but um, don't forget I'm on social media all over the place. Twitter, at A Greenwood, A underscore Greenwood, Facebook, John Pilot Mysteries, Goodreads. Please follow me on Goodreads. Um, it's a great uh, It's a great place to review books and to keep up with people who love books. So please follow me there. And whoop, I think, let me put some blood back on the screen here. I'm going to just put these here and I'm going to hide here in the middle. Anyway, so thanks, my, my special thanks to Jason McIntyre, who, who really did me a solid and really worked his butt off to make some really good covers. And I, I think, I hope you'll agree and you'll let me know in the com comments here on the Facebook page, John Pilot Mysteries what you think about them. Um, and by the way, again, I've said this before a million times as we've discussed this in this whole series. This is not a slam against the previous artists. They did marvelous work. And a couple of them, well, one of the artists did it when I was a complete unknown and nobody cared. And he gave some valuable time and insight um, and artistry to what we're doing. Um, it's just, this is the time to make it more commercial. Um, bikinis on beaches, uh, guns and stuff like that on the covers. It's uh, the days of the kind of the, uh, the esoteric aesthetic, if I'm using those words correctly, probably not, are over. We got to be more, um, we got to provide what mystery, suspense, and thriller readers expect in a cover, not just in what's between the covers, but in the cover, or they're never going to get between the covers. So, all right. I think I've talked myself out here. Uh, if you're listening on the podcast, don't forget to uh, endorse it on what pods and, um, We'll be back uh, with a Facebook Live soon. I'll let you know. I usually give you at least a day's notice, or you can always watch them later. That's what most people seem to do, because um, I often do them in the middle of the day when most people are working like like normal people are supposed to. Um, and I got to get to the gym now and get out of here. Um, so I'm going to just say to you, thanks again for all your support, and uh, we'll talk to you very soon. And until next time, keep reading.